Hey, what's up, guys? It's 3.30 a.m. on a Sunday. Yo, how did you go back a day? Teach me your ways. How did you do this? Can't wait for a rare smite stream at 1 a.m. in the morning. Uh, This is smite. <clears throat> That's, that's what this is. It's definitely Smite. And I, uh, I played a little bit the other night. And uh, weekend Chad gameplay might be the go-to now. That might be my new thing. I did a little... I had to go... I guess I didn't have to go Chad, but I went Chad for... This, like, PvP quest I had. Which I only got part of it done. But I did Punisher Part 4 last night. And, like, you gotta wear this stupid vest. The Balaclava part is just, like, normal Tarkov. But you gotta wear this stupid vest. <clears throat> where you can fit, like, a mag. And then that's, like, it. <laughs> so I was running around a resort just trying to, like, absolutely frag. And I was absolutely fragging. So, so I think we're going to go back and we're going to try and do it again. And then if it's if it's kind of dead, then I'll figure something else out. Oh, nice. I can start doing these again. But yeah, I also made a bunch of hideout stuff. I don't even remember. I don't even remember what all I made for that. Favorite ice cream flavor? Um... Honestly, it just depends. I feel like ice cream flavors have no meaning because it just depends on how good like it's actually made based on where you get it from, you know? So honestly, just depends. Oh, I can make this now. Time to lose more money. Yeah. Oh, that, nope. <laughs> Don't do that later. <laughs> power, power supply is kind of ridiculous right now. We'll do it later. I am not spending 200k. Thanks. Yeah, like, honestly, I don't think I can remotely answer. In general, I like chocolatey stuff, but, like, normally the actual flavors I pick aren't just, like, all chocolate. They're definitely not, like, as simple as chocolate either. Everything is streaming a comp FPS game like Apex or Overwatch? I don't really get into those games, honestly. I feel like they're just, they're not really quite my thing. I think it's like OBS and Streamlabs OBS, right? I stream with OBS. I don't, is Streamlabs the thing that got shit on for being like a scam? I don't remember anymore. Because I used Streamlabs OBS at one point and I think they might have like... Dude, it's been so long and I cared so little at the time. I think they did some cringe shit so I just like uninstalled it and used regular OBS again, which, which is what I used to use to begin with. Let's see, I have a new Peacekeeper quest, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Do I actually, is there any way that I can just not look it up on the wiki? Right, right. So we need to obtain a list. Mm-hmm. We have no information on where the list, got it. Gotcha, gotcha. Go to the wiki. Thank you, BSG. Okay. This will be, this will be easy to do. Man, when the hell do I get the sick case from this guy? Do I need him ranked up more? Maybe a quest done? I don't know. What do you want me to do? No. All right, let me let me warm up a tiny bit real quick, and then we'll go run resort. Yeah, normally I go stuff. I go for stuff that's like chocolate with some something with something to kind of balance it out a little bit. So, so yeah, stuff like Oreo ice cream is good. I'm scared. This is offline, right? It has to be offline. I loaded in so fast and I'm chugging. Oh, I'm chugging. Scabs? Where you guys at?
Jesus. He's crazy. Oh, there's more. Oh. Give me the head. More? More? Funny, just a little little baby warm up before we get into a real raid. Ah! The hell? Oh, the gun? Can't even see him in. Blends so well. Oh. Yeah, spawn more for me. I need more blood. What the? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Dude, I actually just get straight up. Tarkov graphics, man. I know you guys can't see him because I can't even see him. Like, I know the general vicinity. It's so dumb, man. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Call me so off guard. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> the fuck was that, man? Jesus! Yo, what does he have? Whoa. What gun was this? Shotgun? Oh yeah, just OPS shotgun, okay. Alright, alright. <clears throat> that should be enough. Legolas? Oh no. Wait, kill him twice. God damn. Menace to society. <clears throat> All right, hopefully, hopefully resort will actually be popping a little bit. I even need to keep buying this, whatever. I have too much money, it doesn't matter. Get that, get that. Get, uh... I'm gonna have to get this quest done tomorrow. I'm assuming it should be so nice. I gotta buy BT rounds instead of having to do these stupid barters for them. Which I'll probably still do the stupid barters. But the rounds are busted, so I need them. Actually, that's something else I could do. I could use a different gun. Save up on the ammo a little bit. I don't know. It might not matter that much. Is that all of them? All right, let's go. Bing. Oh yeah, let me upgrade this stupid bag. Get something chunky. Oh wait, can I not? Never mind. Never mind. Too noob. I don't know if it's the norm for the resort right now, but... Yesterday when I was getting some games in, I was having some absolutely wild, like, squad-filled raids. Which overall are hard, but they're really fun. It's like, it's honestly some of my favorite shit. I think... I think having to 1v5, as long as you don't care that much about dying, is I think more fun than, like, 5 1v1s in this game. And I was getting a ton of squad PvP, so I'm hoping we can get some of that again up in the resort. Because it's so satisfying to just dumpster a squad on your own. 
Favorite blue lock character? I don't know. I don't know if I care that much. I don't know if I really have a favorite character. Probably, probably Bachira. I feel like Bachira is the wholesome character. With filled with childlike wonder. But I feel like a lot of characters would be like hard to really care about. I don't know. Like a lot of them are there and they're kind of cool, but I don't give a shit. Loki win? I don't know. There will probably be a Loki video fairly soon. I did actually, uh, I can't remember. I, I don't remember if I was recording it or not. I did a little, I think I was recording it. I did a little attempt at a Loki video the other day and ranked, but it ended up just being an absolute stump. Like, I think, I think they straight up like F6 to 12 or something like that. Didn't even get like remotely late game. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really plan out, like since everything I'm playing is ranked right now, I don't really plan out gods that much. It just kind of, whatever works out, works out. And I've really been trying not to jungle. I only want to jungle for the most part. If, uh, if I find, like, a decent Q. Because, oh my god, man, it's... I can't... I can't... I can't do it anymore. It's just so... It's so pain. Some of the Qs I've been getting, man. That's true in general, though. I think... If I remotely... Like, I, when I jungle, I want to win more. I don't know. Like, it's a more serious role to me. And I just, I can't do it to myself with some of these cues. It just gives me just the hardest matchmaking ever. Yeah, you can go up to five people in Tarkov. And then Tarkov also does not like, it's not like PUBG or Apex or a game like that where it puts you against other teams of the same size. It just straight up fills the lobby with players. So you can run into five man teams. You can run into solos. You could be against like 11 solos or like two five man teams. Normally it's something in the middle. Makes it kind of, makes it kind of interesting that way. It's also kind of funky. It'll, it'll vary a lot based on time of day. If you're at like a weird time of the day, normally you'll be running into solos. Cause like it's just kind of somebody that happens to have time, but like people are probably busy. So they're not going to have squad mates. And when you queue prime time, that's when you're more likely to run into squads. When it's like people are off school, out of work, weekends especially. Yeah, matchmaking, matchmaking definitely needs work right now. Yeah, what I've been finding is like, like, it's not that it just doesn't find players. It literally just doesn't match them up properly, you know? That's what I keep finding. Like, I keep having stuff where it's like, just for some reason, it's just kind of met. Like, I swear, like, the, the numbers can't be right. I don't think. I could be wrong. Like, I'm pretty sure matchmaking is frequently doing something where... That's a guy, right? Was that not? Was I just seeing something? I swear a guy went up that hill. And I was like mind blown because I saw it. <laughs> it's like, how the hell did I spot that? <laughs> Maybe I'm tripping though. This is a weird spot. I don't remember getting this spot remotely recently. God, man, I wish I could fish, finish or uh, not finish. I wish I could fix the flickery shadows. It's so annoying. Looks so scuffed at a distance. Well, with matchmaking, so with matchmaking, I literally think it's just, I don't think the numbers add up. Like, it's not even like a straight up, like, what's what's the idea to fix it? It's just make the numbers add up like they used to, like you normally do in a game like this. 
I could be wrong. Maybe that's not happening. I've seen it happen once or twice when I looked at the numbers. Normally, I don't look at MMR numbers that much from like Smite Guru or that like plugin people use on their streams. But I have seen multiple games through that stuff or like one team. I see somebody where one team had like at least 300 more MMR. And in a way where it could have been avoided. Not like we don't have enough players. Like literally if they just put the players in on different teams and like mixed them up a little different. You know, did the basic like computers are incredibly good at this thing. Then it would have been like almost exactly balanced. Wait, what am I? I should I should get in here first, right? Actually, maybe not. I might be inting. Outside and above, I might just die in the back here. I uh, this is so rough. This is so rough. Yeah, so I think somebody's above me. And then I gotta deal with these guys. Oh, can't go that way. Oh, 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 scab save me. Scav bait going hard. <laughs> Scav bait going hella hard. I swear I was hearing somebody above me. This is the PvP I wanted. I can't tell. Somebody's creeping. I don't know if he's outside or inside. The hell? They get pushed? Oh, maybe he, sh he probably shot the scab. The scab probably pushed in. This guy's just fixing all his shit up. We're packing mags, I guess. They can just go the other way if they want. Uh, recoils are off. I think there's one more. That might have been him. I played that like shit, but it might have worked.
So I think I shot him right here. This might have been it. Nice. Oh, he's doing the same quest I was on. <laughs> That's funny, man. Bro, what is this bug? Are you kidding me? Are you... I guess... I mean, he's not gonna have stuff. Whatever. That's fine. Oh, everything is bugged. Oh. Okay. Do I have to restart my game? This is gun, man. Okay, whatever. I guess I don't get to loot that guy. That kind of blows. Let me see what ammo is this. Yeah, it's fine. Now I get to actually loot. Nice. So now I want to know, what the hell was I hearing? I was hearing somebody that sounded above. I don't know if they're just giga ratting. His body's super bugged, like it even shows the gun still here. I could get shot through this. I don't see anybody. Yo, this room is so garbage now. Oh my god. I'm disappointed. Shit is trash. This might just be kind of a quiet lobby, I don't know. There's not much loot so far. Maybe it's just coincidence. Well, I heard something. I think those were ricochets, they might have been steps though. Yeah, I think, some, I think somebody was fighting over in West, I think they're shooting stuff.
we got in here? Trash. One bullet, and it was trash. And... Give me that. Alright, uh... Should maybe reset pretty quick here, just loot this and dip. Might be the play. Let's see, how much is in this? Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try and pack this one a little bit more. Yeah, I did actually, I played a decent amount of Smite today. And I played a decent amount yesterday too. I was actually kind of having fun, kind of having fun with it too. Like honestly, games not not miserable. Um, matchmaking still bad though. It's just it was less miserable because it was bad in my favor, over and over and over again. The only game I lost was because our support DC'd. To be fair, that game was decent, but like they literally won a team fight where they hadn't won a team fight and then got Fire Giant because he DC'd. So. Like, been, been getting absurd amount of W's. Oh, okay, okay. We got some boys close. Yeah, I think I'll just finish looting this up and we'll dip out the north side. Try and just get out. Oh, this is actually some money. At least I think it is. I'm not gonna loot that room because it keeps being ass. The scav. This room kind of fire, though. Uh, trash, trash, trash. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it's like, <how> to... <laughs> I didn't realize that I dropped that like while it was on. Uh, I can just get rid of this. Upgrade a little bit. Should be fun. She's a scav. He's, he's definitely on the first floor. He's so loud. Spooking me, man. Actually, I guess I can, I can loot some of this stuff. It's fine. I can't afford to reload anyways. Oh god, I'm so slow now. Scabs at. Are we inside, you little weirdo? He was not inside. Alright, do I have this extract? Nope. <laughs> Going this way. No, I do not. Got the plane, please. It's so loud.
Look at that chug, man. Oh. A good old plain chug. No snipers? Uh-oh. That might mean that they're dead. And then I'm next. That was random. Good thing I just like mag dumped the whole thing pre firing. Jesus, man. Yeah, I take a billion damage right now, by the way. So not being dead is good. Because that stim that I pop makes me take like almost double damage. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of rough. Got a bit of a gun. What does this guy have in this? Normal stuff. Like I gotta swap to his just so I have something usable. Let's see, uh that what loot you got for me hmm oh yeah it's not that crazy all right read should be good? Yeah? Oh, my leg, man! I'll fix it, whatever. If he has some secret rat teammate, I'm gonna be kind of salty. Is it a battle royale? It's similar. It's like a hardcore battle royale, um, but you have a persistent character that you level up and you get gear on and stuff. So, like, you can die. The game just kind of ignores, like, lore-wise, it just ignores the fact that you died. You still play the same guy. Um, He's like, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can die and stuff, but like raids are longer. You have way smaller lobbies. Um, very, very different. I'm assuming that was just random. Like that would be one hell of a little rat if he just sits there for some reason. So I'm assuming he just happened to be in there doing the quest or whatever. Am I losing? Is there a scab up there? What? <laughs> what? I swear, I swear I heard someone say some shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like you start you start off the game level one, you don't have anything with the traders, so like you can't really buy good gear yet. Uh, you don't start with particularly good gear. And like over time you level up, you level up skills as well. Personally, not a big fan of the way the skills work though, because it's kind of like if you know life the game you get better and that's kind of dumb. Because, like, there's already the massive incentive of, like, get good gear by playing the game and by leveling up. Like, that's already pretty, pretty big incentive. Actually, gotta be really careful. There's scavs up here. And if I go into, like, a shotgun scav, he can, like, two-tap me. You can just blow my arms or legs off right here. Alright, we're probably good. Yeah, with Tarkov, like, it's not like last person to survive gets out or anything. You can literally just, like, there's specific extracts. You can just go extract. Every single person that loads in can extract, potentially. Like, it doesn't matter. Game doesn't care. 
it's like more survival focused. But naturally, when you're trying to cross this map, like you're going to run into players and you're going to kill the players and stuff like that. Especially ever since they added Voight, there's even like potential to cooperate with each other and stuff. Um, so sometimes that happens, but mostly it's just like if you run into people, normally you're going to fight. So, like, I would say, on average, probably at least three people, even if they're not affiliated, are going to extract from each map. Like, assuming there's a full raid of, like, 10, 12 people, something like that, normally probably at least three are going to get out, because it's just, maps are big, you don't necessarily run into each other, some people are going to be trying to get out with, like, quests, or they'll find loot, and they'll just want to get out with the loot. Um, nice, that was a cool raid, that was actually a good raid. The nade worked. The nade, the nade was a risky play. He almost pushed me before I actually got it off, but it was a good good little spot for it. Just kind of chucked it in the hall where it wasn't going to bounce back to me. Armor did its job. Thank you, Armor. So, so basically, like, there's... God, how many maps are there? I can just pull it up in a sec. There's a lot of different maps. Not all the maps that I'm going to show are going to actually be in the game, but most of them will. Um, and the objective is normally going to be if if you have any real objective it's going to just be something you personally want to be getting done or you have quests and there's tons of quests most people never finish the quest so normally you can be working on those at any given time if you want to but you don't have to um but there's uh one two three four five six seven eight eight nine maps there's nine maps now god damn so lots of different maps. There's also like daytime, nighttime. Uh, it kind of varies because there's like an actual time progression. So there's like two time slots you can queue for at any time. Normally that's going to be day-ish, night-ish. Sometimes it'll be like morning and evening, so it doesn't matter. But like right now it's 1 a.m. So it'll be nighttime if I queue that one, that one. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff to Tarkov. It's actually kind of a sick gun. The scope is disgusting. I hate this scope, but <laughs> it's kind of a cool gun. Does it actually sell? Are you kidding? Did I get the wrong one or do people just not care? Hang on. Now I need to know. My dumbass thought that was big money. What? No, the gun. What? The gun. Dumbass game. This? Yeah, people just don't, okay, people just don't care. All right. <laughs> All right. I guess HKs might be kind of cheap then, aside from, I guess the, they'll still have to pay for the barrel. God damn it, man. That used to be worth money. I'm assuming maybe it's just like it's so easy to get off traders now, nobody cares. Yeah, like simply put, Tarkov is just basically it's like a it's like an survival shooter MMO. Where you load into raids with a fairly small amount of people, not like a crazy amount of people. And you try and survive and you try and get loot. Damn, I dumped through BT that raid. Lived, got loot, so so worth, but that was a lot of BT. And I'm running low. God damn it, man. I am running so low. Maybe I should use a different gun. I think, I think I'll run a different gun. Because even though this is my baby, I like actually having money. Or actually having ammo. So, I'll switch it up. I'll do something else. Let me buy more nades. I keep forgetting to buy nades. I need to actually make sure I'm bringing these every raid. Oh, and I got a... Oh, I got a nade kill for Grenadier. Huge. And I forgot to do the quest, but that's okay. Alright. Uh, God, what should I run? What guns do I have lying around? Ooh. 
I could actually run the MK. Wait, this thing blows. <laughs> this thing doesn't seem that good. Oh, I could finally, I'll run the MP7. That's what I'll do. Alright, uh... That... Is that literally all I need? God, these things are so easy. Oh my god! Okay. Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. You better have a hookup. Do I really? 115k, man? Really? Do I not get to run it yet? I mean, like, I could just buy it. It's not that big of a deal. That's stupid. Whatever. I'll buy it. Whatever. on boom yeah okay okay i want the 40 rounders so bad I'm assuming it'll actually be worth using the subsonic. I'm pretty sure it should have like super low recoil. Right, let me test this bad boy out. Yeah, FMJ is better for pen and it's not close and I can buy FMJ and I have FMJ. Um, but I want a laser beam. You know what? Let me do let me do a little test. This stupid bullet out. What? Yeah, I think I noticed the difference. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Okay, and now? Yeah, I think I'm running subsonic. <laughs> that's, that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. That recoil is insane, man. Dude, is this gun just blow now? Because that, like, that wasn't even the AP ammo. That was so much recoil. Let me buy another one of these. Oh. Oop. Uh. Where's these things at? Am I out? Boom. Like, no way they don't. It's 20k. Who cares? Whatever. I'll insure it. That leg meta? Oh, I was going to go for that face meta. Have the raids been? Uh, I played one. I killed three people. Good raid. Honestly played it a little bad, but they died. So, worked out. Last night I got a bunch of good raids in. Yeah, I'm actually going to look up right now and make sure I... Uh, I'm running the ammo either way. But I want to see what sort of pen we got on these right now. That's not okay. That's not even bad. That's fine. 36. 
I think I can be content with that. This is, okay, so this is like a laser beam budget M4, but zero range. Because it's basically, this is like M856A1, but, but OP and cheap. Is it all PvP? No, so, uh, I don't remember, I don't know when you would've come in. Uh, if you hear me reference scavs, scavs are normally gonna be the AI. Where I'm going is gonna be very PvP heavy normally. Um, inside the resort, like, as long as I'm going to resort, there's gonna tend to be almost exclusively players. But there is AI. Normally the AI is not very hard. Like, unless they catch you off guard, AI is like, they don't move that fast normally. They have garbage gear. You normally just kind of headshot them. Um, but it can be scary. And there's bosses, and the bosses can definitely be scary. How do you know which headsets are better? So it used to matter. I could be wrong. I think nowadays it basically doesn't matter. I think nowadays it's basically preference. Um, I personally tested earlier this wipe because I wanted to get a feel for how they sound right now. Like I just took, I bought like all the normal headsets that you can buy, like ones that aren't super exclusive. I took them into like an offline raid and I just listened to like footsteps and ambient noise and I swapped between them. And I thought the Comtax sounded the best. Because the Comtax take away, I don't remember if it was the most ambient noise, but at least out of like normal headsets, I think it was the most ambient noise. So I think that's nice just because, like, I don't know, hearing, like, wind and shit is kind of distracting. Um, but it also, it didn't seem like it mattered too much. Yeah, yeah, they boost different frequencies, but I think the contacts are really good because they, they actually quiet down a lot of the, uh, the really subtle stuff. But it's not, oh god! Bro, this spawn is ass. This is like the, the get shot from range spawn while I have an MP7. So good luck me with an MP7 with subsonic. <laughs> the run across map, try not to die spawn. I need to start bringing SJ6s. Hidden stash spawn? I don't know where the stashes are. And I don't care where the stashes are. I'm here for the frags. The gear I have on right now is like, okay. Um, and also, so gear in Tarkov is weird. Early in the wipe, so like the, the character, every every character in the game gets wiped, like normally around half, half a year uh, or every six months. So we're like two, two and a half months into this wipe, if I remember right right now. So like normally people have at least solid gear. For anybody that's been playing, this is probably like pretty middle of the pack. There's some people that have like significantly better gear. There's some people that have significantly worse gear. This is like solid. Um, if it's early wipe, this is really good. If it's late wipe, this is a little bit bad. So it kind of varies based on the stage that it's in and just who you run into. Cause like some people have better gear. Some people have worse gear that always varies. Like you'll still sometimes run into people with absolute trash, no matter how late of the wipe you are. Just cause some people don't play much or just cause they want to. I guess I probably have like the farthest left spawn over here, right? So I just have to worry about over here. Probably, I don't know. This is a spooky part about Shoreline, man. Resort is fun for PVP, but when you bring one of those fun SMGs for the resort and you get stuck out here and you actually have to fight somebody, it's so hard to win a fight. So scared. I 
How do you know where you're going? You learn the maps. Like naturally, <laughs> naturally, if you're just watching this for the first time, you're not gonna know the maps, but <laughs> like you learn the maps. Like there are some maps that I haven't played that much, so I don't know as well. Uh, like Woods, I've played fairly little, and Woods is a very similar map to this on the outside. Like until we get to the resort, it's kind of similar, it's just big and open. But you kind of learn landmarks and stuff. Different things to guide you. And then over time, you just straight up learn everything. Alright, should I just sprint? Is that a yes? Should I sprint in the front and get shot? Getting a little wild over in West. Does that mean this is my moment? Hang on, let me. Yeah, let me do this. Oh shit. Okay, we're going around. If they're fighting in both of these, it's it's <laughs> It's going to be a little tricky. I think I'll try and get in from uh, the admin building. Gotta swing so far around. I just don't want to get instantly dumpstered just running into two teams. Like, I don't want to run in the middle of them. They've been quiet, so they might have both won their fights. Which means I get all the bonus loot if I win mine. Try and see if I can hear anybody from in here. Maybe Sanitar? Yeah, it could be. At least in the uh, the West Wing, it sounded like that was more possible because they were nading and shit. under bro I thought this was a GPU for a second I got real excited oh a little surprise hammer I don't think it's even worth it's heavy as hell How should I 
How should I push these guys? And which side do I push? I feel like I push these guys. We got a body. I kill him. I'm not on full auto. I'm not on full auto and I forgot. Oh my god, man. These fucking presets. I hate that it does that shit. That guy is so dead if I'm on full auto. I just tapped him. <laughs> not only did I tap him in the chest, it would have recoiled into his head. It was the dream. Did not think there'd be somebody in there. I was just going to pop pains. <laughs> That's random as hell. Oh my god, man. That's the second time in two or three days that I've dropped a kill because it's not on fucking full auto because it's a new gun. So troll, man. And now I don't have enough mag, so I can't even run it back. Yeah, I can't even be salty that he was ratting either because I was about to clap him. I can't even be mad. Plus, I rat too, so I also can't be mad because of that. God, is any of the P90 ammo I have any, any good? Maybe I can run that. I just, I want to, like, I think it'd be fun to SMG a little bit. Mix it up. Because I don't have SB193 or SS190. You have L191. Which doesn't seem great. Like, it's not garbage. I don't know. Yeah, you lose everything you bring in. I got like tons of, I got 13 mil and tons of stuff, so it doesn't really matter. I'd have to die a lot and not get out a lot to actually have it make too much of a difference. I need backpacks though. I don't even have room for backpacks right now. I gotta sell stuff soon. You like, what's the best? I can buy, I'm so stupid. I can buy these off the flea. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so dumb, man. What's wrong with me? Wait, right? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. I can buy some of them off the flea. Well, these things are expensive on here. Whatever, I'll just buy it through Ragman. Twenty-five, twenty-five. Okay. Should I run the, this thing, maybe? Alright, if I run the P90, do I actually have mags? I do! Nice. And how much is this? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I got mess with that. Wait, what the hell? I don't even... How do I get this thing? Ooh. Ooh, can I get that? Boo. Whatever. I'm 
I'm so confused. I swear there's an attachment for this and it's just not letting me pick it. Like I'm so, I'm so confused. This. There we go. Oh wait, I have to. Oh, oh. I'm losing it. All right, probably like I don't need that many of these, right? Surely not. If I add the front and rear sights, I get a little extra ergo. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I don't even have these bullets. Oh god, how many can I buy? 300? Okay, that works. That's at least one raid. Out of headsets? Really? Or am I blind? I think I actually am. Uh, oh my god, where? All right, I think we're good. I guess I'll eat a little bit. All right, let me test this bad boy though. I don't know how much recoil it has anymore. How's my night going? It's been good so far, man. I got some decent smite games in today. Uh, only just starting to actually play any Tarkov. It's been, it's been pretty good. A nice little, nice little Sunday so far. Oh, this one starts full auto. Nice. Throw me off. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm regretting. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm regretting a little bit. Yo, the ricochets are going crazy. Hold up. Let's go and do that again. Yeah, that looks sick. <laughs> That's so sick, they just spray all across. Alright, well, this gun honestly looks like absolute trash. Uh, we're gonna... Okay, it's not trash. I thought it'd be better. I thought it'd have less recoil. It's got crazy horizontal recoil. That's okay. Do I even care about insuring? I probably don't even care about insuring it. Did somebody just... Okay. Stupid alert. But the stupid might be me. Hang on. Is that the old crone? Like, I'm pretty sure... Where's this comment? Where's this comment? Old Kronos pen and art. Is that even a thing? Oh shit, wait, is it? <laughs> when did they do this? I guess I'll update it. It looks the fucking same. They added some purple. 
<laughs> That's funny, man. I haven't, I haven't even noticed that. Yeah, if you want to ask a question, feel free. Oh yeah, I saw the uh, I saw the fake giveaway bot. I I went around. I think I got all the comments. There was a bunch of like they had multiple accounts related and stuff. So I like tried to report them all and remove all the comments. So I think I'm good because I kept scrolling for a while through my old comments and uh, like straight up just wasn't seeing any more. So if there are any more, they're pretty far back. I normally just ensure based on like inconvenience to take slash if it's cheap as hell. If it's cheap as hell and I actually want it back, I just ensure it. So like early wipe, stock AK, shit like that. I'm ensuring that. Um, or like armors that can be inconvenient and aren't super meta. Like I think I'm almost never going to ensure a slick. I think the only way I'm ensuring a slick is if I'm planning to actually like, oh, it might get shredded and I'll switch it out in raid or something like that. But, um, but a lot of the bulkier stuff, I'll ensure just because it's annoying to take out a raid. Like, if they don't have some sort of stim to help with the weight, they're just probably not pulling that thing out, or it's going to be a pain in the ass to do it. I do get, I get a decent amount of stuff back off insurance. Like, even some of the things that can be really good to take. Like, literally, the one thing I got off insurance today was, uh, at least so far, was the, uh, level four TV rig or whatever, which that thing, that thing's like a loot gold mine because it's actually good armor and you put a bunch of stuff in it, but it's heavy as hell. So they didn't want it. Or they did. I don't know. Are we getting Bacchus Beyblade? Probably never. Possibly someday. That's when. Not really a helpful answer, but it is the real answer. You guys ever seen footage of like people way back in the day, like early 1900s and just how bland everything looked? Isn't that crazy? We just like didn't used to have colors in the stuff we built or the things we wore. It was just like gray, brown, black, white. So weird to think about. It makes sense. So weird to think about though. You have an entire 2,000 word essay doing four hours and you're watching the stream? Okay, but how many of those words do you already have? Hmm? Human genetics or what? <laughs> Oh, am I, am I missing some context here, huh? Bro, work on your paper, man. Jesus. It's been too long since I was in school. I feel like 2,000 words is actually a decent amount. I feel like 2,000 words is actually difficult to get in within a few hours at work. So, yeah, working on that, probably good. I gotta do the check now. I gotta try and remember to do the check every raid. Ironically, I feel like the raids where I do check are the raids where that shit's just always going to be on full auto and it's a gun that I've been running back to back to back and I just check anyways, even though it's stupid because it's the same exact gun. And then the raids where I don't are the ones where it's like, I'm running something new, I'm excited. Let's get into some action. Let's die immediately in the action because I'm on single fire with an SMG. Good times. I probably should have jumped in already. I kind of forgot there's not a way in over here until you go all the way over. It'll be fine. 
Oh, I gotta do the quest too. I'll go, I'll go get quest. I think I actually specifically forgot to loot it last time, unless I'm tripping. Even though I was literally in there. It feels like my footstep noises are stacked. It's weirding me out. Is this like, am I underweight? I'm underweight for once and I sound weird. That has to be it. That actually, I'm tripping myself out because I'm finally underweight. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I need more pains. Yeah. I, I get that, man. I went through that with school, too, where I was bad at procrastinating with shit. Does anybody hear the rat? Oh. Oh, this is a lot. I saw his head for a little second. This is at least three. Pretty sure. Running around, huh? play will work. Gonna kill you all, bastard. Man, I wanted to get the angle. I don't think I'm going to get an angle, though. What the hell? Come to me. Come to me. Oh, I'm baiting. Oh, good shot. What does he have? Good shot, man. I was so close to killing them both right there. They were juiced as hell. What is that gun? Does he have the 33308 or whatever? What is it called? He has a fucking dude. Wow. Yeah, rip, rip me. <laughs> if he misses at all, I just kill him. I think. I don't know. 
I think he has the, uh, he has like the most broken gun in the game. That's incredibly difficult to get. So that's okay. Mans has a legendary gun. Yeah, that's okay. That was still, that was a good raid. He had a good shot. Because if he hit anything that wasn't Chester face with that one bullet, I just kill him. I was so close to killing him anyways. Pretty sure I still need this for a quest, right? I haven't been wanting to take it. Slow as hell, too. It's probably not even worth it if I did want to take it. Let me run this thing. Get some of this gear out of here. Man, this helmet blows, so I just want to sell it. I mean, I guess... I guess I can do that. What's the main goal of the game? So normally the main goal of the game varies based on what you're trying to do. Um, right now, I really just want to go PvP. Have some fun raids, just get like cool PvP interactions. Just because for a while now, I've been... I should just go ahead and buy another one of these. Um, for a while now, I've been doing so many quests to level myself up. Because it takes forever to get... How many raids have I played? <laughs> I feel like I look special right now. <laughs> yeah, so I have 118 raids. And I'm up to level 30. And I'm assuming... I could be wrong. I bet to get to level 40-ish, which is where you like basically fully unlock traders, fully unlock gear that you can buy from traders. I bet it takes at least 200 total raids, if not like 300 raids. So I've gotten like finally to the point where I can buy a lot of gear and I've just been doing PVP, but normally like the real goals in Tarkov are like the stuff I've done to get at least to here and then what I'm gonna continue to do, which is the quest. And those vary a ton. It can be like, go grab an objective. Like right now I do have one to go grab something. Then I grabbed that raid, but I didn't live with it, so it doesn't matter. Um, Go grab objective, kill X many PMCs with this, kill X many scavs with this. Uh, d Different stuff like that. Raid, so raid would be like, like PUBG, Apex, game like that, where you just kind of queue up onto a map, and then you play like one map, like one match. A raid is like that, where you just kind of, you load into a raid with other people, and then you extract or you die. Okay, what gun do I run then? I have tons of 5.6A1, I should run something 5.5.6. Five, five, I'm assuming I don't get to run a very meta M4, other than the one I already have, but I kind of want to save that one. Ooh, cringe, <laughs> cringe alert, meta alert. Yo, this thing is a beast. What the hell? This thing is so OP. Yeah, I am kind of missing some stuff. <laughs> Only a million ruble gun. Oh my god, man. Alright, let me... Hmm. Where the hell is this? Am I blind? Okay, I can probably buy this thing.
Oh, this is just way better. It has so much more ergo on it. All right, if I want this, how much of these? Okay, actually not too bad. All right, yeah, let me try and make one of these then. Thoughts on cheating in FPS games? While I am playing Tarkov, which I feel like, I mean, given there are probably some games like PUBG where they're a little bit, PUBG might have more cheater issues at this point, since PUBG has such a big Chinese player base to begin with. Um, but Tarkov has a big cheating problem. And it's especially noticeable because it matters so much more if you actually die. It's like so much more tilting. So, I don't know. I don't know if there's that much of a take. I think it's definitely a thing. I think it sucks. Like, obviously. <laughs> Cheating is not fun. Crazy take. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much more I can say than just I deal with it some and it's annoying. I don't think it's a very big issue with uh, most of the games I've played, though. Tarkov has, like, I can't even, honestly, I can't think of another game that I've played where it's, like, cheating feels like a big issue. Like, I've heard cheating technically exists in Valorant. I'm assuming it's not remotely common. Cheating does exist in CSGO. Normally, at least so far to me, it has not felt remotely common. The the bits that I've played. Although, actually, it felt way more common before they added the, uh, the phone thing. Is it CSGO Prime or whatever the hell they call that? I don't remember what they called it. Whatever, I'll run the gun I was going to make. Might get a little expensive, but it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, honestly, like, that's not actually... Can I even switch this? Ooh! Wait, is this good? Because I know I have this unlocked. It looks a little bit cool. 45. Yo! Hold up! Okay, I can't tell if it looks cool or gross. <laughs> I can't tell if it's nice or ugly. Hang on, hang on. And then I mix it. Nice. Yeah? And then... Okay, I can buy all these, right? I'm not getting trolled. Oh, I guess I gotta switch this thing. Oh, what's the normal one? This? Not that. This? Yeah. Okay, this thing, this thing is a little ugly, and it might tell me, but for now I'm good. It's actually not even that much either. It's like 240k, I think, total. Really not bad. It didn't make it properly, right? Yeah. Well, the thing is, you gotta keep in mind, game developers are not necessarily trustworthy. And while you can have somebody like Riot probably make a very safe anti-cheat, even though it's doing some really like pretty deep shit on your computer, like for, for a perfect example. So like this game has a huge cheating problem. 
BSG are a team of Russian developers that I feel like aren't, there's no reason that I would particularly trust them. I just play their game because I like it. Um, like, not only do you have the random dev team thing, you have the, like, other country per, per, potentially, like, wanting information from your citizens thing, because that does happen. It's, like, actually an issue with TikTok right now. Um, am I actually out of these? I think I am. So... You do gotta keep in mind that, like, it can be kind of a big issue to go with, like, the Valorant anti-cheat level super deep stuff, even though I would love to have, like, better anti-cheat in Tarkov, and that's a way to do it. Normally, games with big cheating issues just have straight-up code issues, and it's just on them. And normally, that code's already made, and their game's already made its money, so it won't get fixed. That's just how it goes. For some reason, Smite seems to have good anti-cheat, because that shit, like, if it happens, they normally get banned pretty fast. And there's not that much you get to do for the most part. It's so rare that there's cheaters. Random as hell. But it's cool. Ready to this? Bing. Bing, bing. Alright, uh... Okay, things are so cheap now. So nice. I don't even know why. I feel like they're not that common. Alright, I don't remember I still have stuff to do to it. Yeah, so I have run into... For one thing, I played Smite a really long time. Um, I am assuming I have run into at least five cheaters that were definitely cheaters. However, I think at least two, if not three of those, felt like they were stream sniping. Uh, I don't know if I'm running this. Hmm. Hmm. For what? Okay. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if I'm running this. What is wrong with the M4, man? Bro, what is this? Whoop! Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm gonna recoil that much. This much. From shooting an M4. God damn it, BSG. Tap, 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 tap. God, it's actually crazy how much recoil there is on this. If I pull down, I can mostly control it, but it's crazy. Ever played Borderlands? No. Yeah, if I if I do a good pull down, we'll be good, but I don't play this game enough, so I probably won't. <laughs> I probably won't know to do it. And then I'll get mad. Now, Borderlands, um, never really popped out to me that much. I know people like it a lot. Never, it never really seemed like something I'd be particularly into. Alright, it should be good. I gotta remember to put this thing on full auto when we get in raid, though. Can I actually blow that I didn't, uh... Can I actually ensure this? I probably should. Blows I didn't get out of that last raid. That was so close to being a huge loot. Feel like I deserve to win that last read. Pretty farm heavy. Yeah, I feel like normally I'm not really too into games that are uh, that are like that. Like, I'm okay with grinding if it feels like there's a reason that I'm grinding. Um, but I feel like if, if I'm just grinding, I'm normally not into it. Um, like Minecraft stuff, kind of a weird example in comparison, but like Minecraft, I'm normally cool. 
Um, there are limits, but if it's like basic stuff, if it's like the grind to get like diamond gear or to get to the end or like whatever, which normally isn't all that hard, um, then I'm cool. Or like leveling in Tarkov, there's like purpose. But if it's just like farm materials slash XP for a long time, just kind of doing whatever works, then I normally just get super bored and I don't care. I can't play MMOs anymore because of that. Like a little little part of me wants to actually try World of Warcraft. I don't think I can do it to myself. I've played I've played other MMOs. It's gonna get grindy. I'm gonna get to that point where it's like I am just grinding XP. What's my Minecraft skin though? I actually don't remember. For a long time I had like a classy devil. I had like a devil in a tuxedo. I don't remember if it's still that or not. It might be the uh dude, it might be the stupid Kakashi skin that like everybody uses and that Etho used. I used to watch so much Etho back in the day, man. Don't it'll ruin you. I mean I've played another MMO a ton that's very similar. I played a Rift when it came out when I was a kid. Um and I think continued for like two years. And even even as like a young kid. Like, I, I don't remember for sure now. I think I was, like, 10 when I stopped. And I started at, like, 8, I think. <laughs> and even as a young kid, I realized, you know what? This shit's starting to kind of blow. And I just got over it. And I didn't go back. And Rift, Rift was super similar to WoW. All right, we got another long run. Yeah, for me, I care a lot about progression and like the feeling of progression. Um, and also it not feeling forced. Like, I don't really think, like, Tarkov, actually, one of the main reasons I like Tarkov, aside from just I think the game is cool, like, at a base level, um, but, like, leveling up and stuff, it actually feels like there's purpose in it. Like, you're actually getting a ton of different objectives, it varies, the quests are not super repetitive, um, it mixes stuff up, and it doesn't feel like it's long just to be long, it feels like it's genuinely long. Which is cool. And you get a lot of like little stuff in the meantime. It's not like, oh, I'm just getting late game. Like there's a lot of like stuff in between. And a lot of their games just don't really do that. So. When it's kind of empty and then you get late game. Which I don't think WoW is really like that as much. I think it's just got some of that. But there are a lot of MMOs that are just straight up like, you are only playing to get late game. We put in all this shit. So it's there because you're expecting it and you're going to do it because you have problems and you only play this genre and then you get late game. Because I have tried it too many MMOs, man, where I like want to play them and have fun and like quest and do some earlier game dungeons and stuff. And like, that's not that's not what they're there for. <laughs> I'm trying to think of Black Desert, uh, Terra. I think there's another one I've played that's like one of the more relatively recent-ish MMOs. It's like at least at least you get to a point where it's like, all right, at this point you are literally just waiting to get to late game. And it always pisses me off. Like, no, I'm done wasting my time on your dumbass game. Make the game less shit. And if a game wanted to do something where you like level really fast through that stuff, then I think I'd care less. But I think a lot of it depends on your definition of fast based on how much you play the games too. Because if it's like 70 hours of gameplay to hit max level and it's not fun for 70 hours. And that means if you put four hours into it every day, you got to play for almost 20 straight days. 
than uh, pass. You know? I don't know when it's going to happen. Someday, we're going to have a new MMO come out that's going to be mind-blowing, man. Somebody's finally going to make the next WoW. Where it's just going to be, like, all around, just well-made, genuine content. And it's going to be crazy. I think MMOs are cool. I think they just make, like, trash games, though. Like, the devs that make them. I gotta do the painkiller thing so I don't get deleted trying to go in. Sorry, this is one of my most toxic takes. I actually, it pisses me off what people do for, MM, for MMO development. Okay. Spooky scav. Could absolutely be players right in here. some shit. There might be somebody coming in. Somebody above, I think. I don't know, the audio is weird. Yo, these guys got clapped. <laughs> they got absolutely smacked. Let's go, man. That should be all of them. I got real quiet for that. Oh. Yo, M4 kind of beaming up close, though. This thing's banging right now. I don't know if I've actually... I think I've actually been subconsciously pulling down, which is good. Kind of got to do that. I love that. This is why I wanted to go resort, man. When we have these weekend queues, these weekend evening queues, if there's actually players coming here, it's so fun to PvP. If I run into more people and die, then like I do, even after I lose these guys, but it's so much fun. Especially that... Oh, somebody just shot outside. That 1v squad PvP is a blast, man. Well, that's pretty good. I'll be taking that. Plane already, huh? Shit. I feel like I might get pushed. I 
Hang on, let me see what aim this guy's got. PP? You know, no way this man is running PP. Really? I'm gonna keep the mag just because I use those mags. They're worth some money. Bruh. What? Can't fault? Yes, I can! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what do you mean can't fold? What is. Oh. That guy's gonna be coming my way. Uh. Okay. I think we're gonna do a little loot and dip, maybe. If I can. I might not even loot resort. That ammo? Yeah. Maybe not? Actually, isn't crazy loot. Do this. So all their gear is a little bit too much of a pain in the ass to take. They really did do this room so dirty. God, if I want to do my quest, I gotta go over where that guy is. Which would suck. He'll probably move by then. He'll probably move over and kill me by then. better nades. <laughs> God damn it. If I have it in the, like, do the leftmost slots get thrown? I don't know how that works. chunky. Never picked up the dog tag? Nah, it doesn't really matter. I think so. Dog tag is like, uh, it's mostly, like sometimes you need him for quests. It's mostly like you get to see who you killed. You get kind of more information and stuff. And they're, they're a little bit of money. Sounded really weird. I'm very confused what the hell that is. Pistol? Maybe?
Well, I'm guessing whoever was in the uh, the admin building, unless he's just camping it looking for an egg. I'm guessing he, uh, I don't think I want to go through that. Because it gives him an egg. I think he went west. God, I can greed loot so hard if I want, man. I don't think I do it, though. I still have so much room. How's the giga chatting going? Pretty good! At the start of this raid, I killed a three-man. Uh, I think earlier in the stream, I killed a three, but not a three-man. I think the one death I've had was dying to the best gun in the game after I killed another Chad. So, pretty good. Like, one death was not a death to be, like, salty about. Shit just kind of happens. You just see it hit a good shot. I didn't potato at all, either. So, awfully good so far. Oh, I forgot I need these for a class. I don't even remember, <laughs> I don't remember what the quest is. Oh yeah, I have a new mechanic quest. That's what it is. Yeah, what is that gun? It's kind of freaking me out, man. Go out the front. Seems like I almost have to go out the front here. I heard some shit. Like, I play it like this? I think this is the smartest way to play it. It's unlikely I get shot from west. I can't get shot from admin. Do I even have this extract? I think I have to go the other way. I gotta wrap around somehow. Should be okay though. God, if I actually if I actually were to annoy these guys sniping, it's gonna be so annoying. I don't know. I don't know what the hell these shots are. They're so weird. I don't know if somebody just has a loud ass gun and they're hunting scavs. Or what? Or maybe they somehow actually are scavs and just sniper scavs have weird guns right now? I don't know. This sniper's up down here, so that's actually a good sign. I should run down here. Oh. 
I just saw somebody right there. Oh wait, it's actually a scav. Dead? He's dead. God, I don't know. I feel like Tunnel somehow still gets extract camp, so I think I'm going path the lighthouse. Because I have had, I'm trying to remember, I think I've been extract camped at once on Tunnel, where I got shot at, and the other day, somebody, I heard them, like, jump down, trying to run after me as I extracted. So unless they actually just somehow happened to be there, they were, like, trying to camp me, and they're just bad. Wait, do I actually have room? Oh, I didn't remember leaving room for that. I was trying to wait to reload because I thought I had to drop a mag. Gonna run into the goons? Dude, I don't know where the goons spawn on shoreline. Yeah, you're scaring me. I forgot that they can spawn on shoreline. I think I heard somebody. Please, not the goons. Maybe that's been the weird shit I've been hearing. Maybe that's bird eye with some weird ass gun. Hitting some absolute crackhead shots. I mean, I did just run into somebody with a Lapua, so maybe that's maybe that's common right now. I don't know. I always think it's funny when uh, I, I even get to be able to do it a little bit when I've been playing more. But like when streamers just inherently recognize guns, I think it's, it's pretty funny. Some of them I'm sure are more obvious, but. Like, it'll be like any noise, loud, unsuppressed, whatever, don't care. They know. They know. Like, come on, they know. Like, the the actual, like, full-time Tarkov streamers that play a shitload and are really good. It's always crazy just, like, how memorized all that sound is because they've just heard it so much. Especially Willers, man. I think Willers has like 10k hours or some shit in this game. Willers, Willers makes himself sound like a hacker. Where I've seen him like call people's guns out to them. Like, hey guy with this gun? That would suss me the hell out. Like, <laughs> like what? <laughs> Alright, please no extra camp. lighthouse please you just play tarkov too much well i mean like i get it too because like like sounds like there are certain guns that are super iconic and stuff but to me it's funny <laughs> yusek dong <laughs> it's a good name um like like inherently knowing like the suppressed full auto shots i think that's like crazy man you think i know i never fucking know
I think I actually do know when I play more. It's been a while, though. Oh, they only spawn at Weather Station. That sounds like the dumbest place to put the goons. Are you kidding me? Like, keep them away. That's cool. Um, but also, like, I don't picture having a chance against... The, the Weather Station has so little cover. I don't picture having much of a chance against the goons if they're if they're in the weather station. All right, I gotta sell stuff. Let me, dude. What is wrong with this gun? Like, am, am I crazy? You can't. But you can, right? Like what? What it? Why? Huh? I don't. I don't understand. Okay. Oh, he had BT in this mag, and then PP in the others. Dude, he's so greedy, man. That guy was like level forty. How down bad is he that he's not running better ammo? All right, we get a good suppressor. Actually, is the MDR any good? Let me, let me shoot this thing real quick. That may be like a kind of fun budget gun I could run. Probably bad though. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've definitely, I have seen some stupid bird eye shots. Normally the one that actually pisses me off isn't even bird eye though. Normally the one that pisses me off is uh, night. Cause he just, he'll just like randomly laser beam you. Yo, what the hell? This looks worse than it is. I have a 2X on. This thing is disgusting. What? Oh, <laughs> whoops. Wait, what? Why did, oh, was I out of bullets? I might, I might have to run the MDR a little. Oh my God. It's so good. And I doubt you need this. Since like the, the way the recoil works on this gun is always weird. Cause it doesn't have a stock and the multipliers are weird in this game. Like 58, 57, 60, 61. Little budget. Might not be bad, man. Uh, what's cheap? Might be ch kind of cheap. Oh, that might be worth. Oh, wait, are you kidding? Wait, come on. Bruh. <laughs> I can, I can buy the suppressor. I can't get by the muzzle brake that goes for it. That's so weird. I don't know if I've seen that before. I think the wave's bad now, right? Yeah. What's a good budget suppressor? Maybe it is this one. Yeah, 40k? This. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna run the M4 back because I just clapped with it, but this thing is actually pretty sick. Is Tarkov a new friendly game? No. <laughs> no, Tarkov is unbelievably not noob friendly. Um... It's it's a good game, don't get me wrong. It's it's a good game. I love Tarkov, but it is I think the least noob friendly game I can think of. There's an absurd amount of stuff to learn, 
and you start with bad gear, and assuming it's not the beginning of the wipe, the other players have good gear, at least on average. It is so hard to start in Tarkov. Now, the bright side is there's a lot of depth to Tarkov, so you don't have to go around winning a bunch of PvP. Um, like, I'm trying to think of a good example. It's not going to be like PUBG or Apex or something or Fortnite where like you're just fighting tons of players, like hordes of players, and then just trying to be the last. You can just maybe get into a few gunfights and dip and then maybe not even get into a few gunfights. So like there's a lot more room to try and like you don't have to try and win every raid or whatever. Like it's punishing, but. You can always just kind of play passive to help yourself out too. Yeah, and honestly, like, if COD is your reference point, that you might not even like Tarkov. Like, you might. Uh, but Tarkov is way slower paced. Very, like, Tarkov is intended to be. It's not really very, but, like, it's intended to be realistic. Um, and so, while you do get some, some close quarters PvP, and especially a lot of people that are looking for PvP, a lot of time they'll be, like, forcing close quarter PvP. Um, or at least like that's just normally the easiest way to do it is just like getting people into close quarters because it's going to be like loot hotspots and stuff. Um, yeah, it's normally not super action-y. Like that last raid I just played, that was like a pretty, like fairly intense raid just because I fought a three-man. I'm assuming the raid was like 20 minutes. That fight took like one minute. Um... <laughs> So, like, you gotta got feel that out, though, because I did not expect, I am not, like, I, I don't play Arma. I have never played Arma. I played DayZ, and I thought DayZ sucked, and I love Tarkov. So, I think it's something that, for, for some people, they really click with it, and some people, they just don't. And if you want to know for sure, you probably just gotta give it, gotta give it a try. Okay, I think I might do a rare scav run in a sec here. It's been a while since I've really been scaving, but I think I gotta sell a lot of stuff. So, unless it's just really easy to sell the stuff. And I think I'll take a little, little scav break in between raids. Sort. And what are we selling? Yeah, hey, let me turn in some of the stuff I have. Oh, and that's, I should also scav for this quest so I can just get it done. That'll be smart. Get bitcoins out of it? Hell yeah. Yeah, these should be fairly easy to find if I scav. It's worth anything? Nope. Do I actually need to upgrade anybody? Got enough money, enough money, enough money. Nice, I guess we'll just be, we'll be good. I get to sell everything to therapist. Assuming people don't care about drills anymore. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy money. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm kinda I'm kinda balling right now. Casual little one and a half mil. I should probably sell the bigger stuff though.
for a second scab box? Uh, I mean, I could. I don't know if I really... I don't know. Normally, normally I prefer to just sell stuff. Oh no, I scuffed this. Please buy it, please. Please! Yeah, normally, I feel like if you're getting to the point where you're filling this thing, then... Like, I don't, I don't feel like you normally need a second, you just kind of sell the shit in it. And do I really have to go scab already? I still want the, uh, the money case. I either need a quest for the money case, or... Um... I can buy stuff? Oh god. Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, what is this thing? Oh, it's not even that bad. Oh! I think that barter will come in clutch at some point when I gotta do that stupid quest. But I should have, like, ammo I can sort and stuff, which would help. Oh my god. Alright, let me see. What do I not need to be selling from in here? Alright, I think we'll scab in a sec. I'm just gonna sell like one more set of things, then we'll be good. I think I actually gonna make like all my money back that I've been burning on the hideout lately because my raids have been going pretty well but I've been losing money for the past couple days because I've been doing a bunch of the later game hideout upgrades and expensive stuff actually it's not even that bad yet I haven't done like the scab case or anything yet but it is getting there a little bit Ooh, big money Come on. Come on. No? Okay. We'll go scab real quick. Oh, now they buy up. I gotta find wires and capacitors, I think.
Okay. Do a little interchange to make sure you guys can't see. <laughs> to make sure <laughs> to make sure you see pitch black. Would I say a lukewarm intro to Tarkov would be DMZ? Uh, I haven't played DMZ. I have somewhat seen it, and yes. Um, but realistically, I think enjoying DMZ and enjoying Tarkov are probably not remotely similar. Like, I saw DMZ, and I was instantly like, this looks like a pile of garbage, and there's no way I'm playing it. Um... But other people might like it more because DMZ to me see, to me DMZ seems like PvP zombies, where the zombies got a little smarter, and they have guns, but they're also still basically brain dead and they're bad. And then you get players in the map too. And that's what DMZ seem to mostly be. And I know there's some sort of gear progression, but I don't, I don't know much about how the gear works. I'm assuming uh, it's really uh, I'm assuming it's not that hard to get gear. Like sometimes you're not going to be super geared, but. Like, I doubt it's anything like Tarkov, where, uh, like, there's, like, a crazy difference in gear. Yeah, like, getting, getting that AI element, PvP element, mixing it together, getting a little bit of the, uh, extract thing and trying to survive thing. Always gotta check, man. One of these days, I will get a red key card in that... All right, where's my free plane? Come on, hook your boy up with a free plane, please. I actually, I'm probably not gonna hit the plane if it, <laughs> if it comes by. It's probably dumb. Okay, we are taking this off, Jesus. Actually run into a player. What the hell? He broke the weirdest part of the glass. Okay, whoever came in here is weird, and I need to be on edge. I haven't scabbed in a while. I gotta be all ready to voip to my scab friends. Either get a little scab gang going, or... Try and join one. Or just make big money. One or the other. Boom. One of these days, I swear, one of these days, they'll change the lighting on this map so that there is some, and it'll be beautiful. Oh, it'll be so good. Honestly, I feel like interchange would be fun as hell if you could see, man. Because, like, there's still going to be annoying-ass corners. Like, you can still rant. You just have to think a little bit and not just be like, it's dark. I'm going to not move. You can get like all these cool different little walls and rooms and shit to fight around. It'd be so much fun. Can't wait for Dark and Darker next month. Yeah, I'm definitely excited for it. I might, uh, I might take it more chill with the next play test though. I might not play it as much as I played the last one. Although honestly, it'll probably depend on how the new map works because I think I, I really enjoyed the idea of a solo map, and I really did not enjoy the play of the actual solo map. Try and not spook this guy? Damn, he is just hard dipping. Alright. Alright, you do you, man. God, it's probably so, so big brain if you're a PMC. Wait. A scab, right? It's just a 
Okay, okay, okay. He was looking, he was looking a little juicy from the side. I don't know. He seemed very indifferent to my presence. So I assumed that he wasn't a PMC. Might have to go loot PCs for this stuff. Might be the better way to go. PMC hiding one scabs. He he voiped, so we're we're good. We're good. Or not voiped. He uh he voice lined. Although I swear I'm pretty sure the other day. This wasn't on stream or anything. I'm trying to remember exactly how it went down. I was fighting this guy. Or or at least I was about to. Like I knew there was a PMC coming in. It was early as hell. There was no way it was a player scav. Um it was definitely like an actual player. And I swear I was fighting this guy and he uh there was like a scav voice line, like right where he should have been through a wall. I think that he did some like super cringe. That looks like a PM. I got to greed this. I think that's a PMC. It might not be. He's not getting shot. No, it's not. Okay, okay. Bro, he looked beefy as... See, inter like interchange lighting, man. He looks like an absolute beefcake. And then I see this dumbass has a cowboy hat on. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm thinking... I'm thinking he's got a beefy helmet, beefy bag. He has a Burkett, which to be fair, Burkett for scabs, kind of beefy. And a cowboy hat. Like, the man is not juiced. But it's hard to tell. It's dark. I don't know if they just nerf these or if people actually still loot them. Because I like never find gold chains in there. Yoink. Alright, give me that shit I need. Oh, might be looted. Are those real players? So right now, um... I keep seeing people that are player scavs. So scavs are normally the AI, but as you get deeper into a raid, um, scavs, you can spawn in on like kind of an alt character, which is a scav, and it has like a cooldown. And that's sort of like a free life. It's really like you basically just kind of, you take over an AI that would have spawned in anyways, is sort of how it works. So you have normally some garbage, you have some random loot. Loot can be good, but normally it's not gonna be very good. Um, and uh, like just basically like, yeah, if you die, you lose the stuff, but it's stuff that you're just like spoon fed on this random character. So you don't really care. Um, so normally you can spot AI scavs by like, or player scavs by like moving like players, but having scav gear, doing the scav voice line, stuff like that, trying to tell them apart from the actual PMCs, which are like the normal main account players. Is basically everything that's happening right now. So, when you spawn in as a scav, scavs like all one faction, you can shoot them and betray them, but it's fucked up. Uh, <laughs> so, so normally, um, normally player scavs will at least try not to shoot each other. This is an AI scav right here. I can just walk on by because I haven't done anything to make them shoot me. I'm just one of them. It works like that. Scavings a way to, uh, to get some extra loot. And to just chill a little bit too. It's kind of, it's like a little fun alternative that you get sometimes. Some people scav a lot. I normally, for me, it varies quite a bit. I normally, I can have a lot of fun scaving as I get deeper into the light. But normally it's more like I need a specific quest item and it's annoying to get it in a normal raid. So I just kind of run it on a scav to a map where they tend to have those things. Or if you just want some free loot. Nice. This might be all that I need. I should probably try and loot one more. I think I have three out of five of one of these and then two out of five of the other. I loot this. Oh, I did. Or I didn't. Oh, 
whatever. I'll just keep looting it. I probably don't get shot and bleed out. Play a risky game right now. I need wires, man. Where are my wires at? Yeah, who, who needs this? Here for loot and only loot. I'm gonna go try and hit idea. Like that should be a player's cab right there. Some of it's some of it's like that. Okay, there's no reason to assume it's a player scab other than knowing scab patterns. It could be a scab, but that's probably a player scab coming in. And he's got a little little pom pom head on and this stupid same mask I have on that scab spawn with quite a bit. Plug. I don't need that. Is this PvP? I mean, right now I'm basically not fighting. There's like a lot of players I'm not gonna fight because they're also scams. But yeah, like the game. The game definitely has PvP. Almost every kill on this stream so far would have been a PvP kill. I haven't really fought many scams. Like I probably have uh like eight or nine PMC kills so far. I think throughout a few raids. It's been a good day, man. Had some really good raids. All right. Uh, I could go greed for the power station. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm full. Let's dip. On big loot. I never loot this because it's dumb as hell. Yeah. I would like to not hear, please. Thanks. Nice. Well, now you guys get to only hear me because the game's going to be super quiet because this thing muffles my hearing. Is it your wildest dream? Dude, I saw God, what was it? I had the weirdest YouTube recommendation the other day. YouTube YouTube goes a little wild sometimes. You guys ever get that? Um I had God, I think it's a new game that was coming out. I think it's probably why it actually sent it to me. I, I think it was Diablo. I think I'd watched like a Diablo 4 video just because I was mildly curious. I don't even really play Diablo. I just want to see what it looked like. And I got recommended from like super small YouTuber, like 200 plus view video, like not big. Like Diablo 4 ASMR something. And it's like the weird, like licking the tongue microphone thing. I don't know what the hell you call those things. The ones that are shaped really weird. Uh. Bro, you sk I had the wrong button like a dumbass, but that works too. <laughs> I was gonna, gonna voip to him. <laughs> it's funny, I probably almost got myself shot right there. That's funny, man. I actually put on the, the quiet headset and I just straight up don't hear him behind me. I only heard him because he jumped over the railings with me. God, that spooked the hell out of me, man. Um, I got like an ASMR Diablo video. YouTube really knows what I want. No, I can't do the man like that. If he does me like that, I'll judge him. But I doubt it. I bet I'll be chill.
Все, пацаны, валим, валим отсюда. Why does it sound like Spanish? Didn't it? Like that totally. Dude, who knew? Like Vali Matsuda. Alright, uh. Boom. Boom. I can also craft the wires. I might actually do that. I just realized I have a black rock. What the hell? <laughs> why do I? Why do I have this insane rig? I need to sell this. You activate the voice lines. Are they automatic? Um, you activate them. There's like a button that presses, kind of like I'm trying to think what a good word for it is. They have like a little system built in the game where it's meant to be like relevant voice line. So you can press that sometimes when it when it thinks there's some something relevant. So like there in the extract, like said some shit in Russian about it being like hurry up, it's an extract, I think. I think that's basically what the guy said. Um or like hurry up, here's the way out, some shit like that. So you can do that, or you can just hit a button that kind of just like yells random shit. And sometimes it's pretty toxic. Although I think I'm a bear. Which is Russian, so I don't think I don't think it's easy to tell when when my guy's toxic. I really gotta like start putting these things to use. I actually have some like pretty pretty meta gear lying around. And sell that if I want. Alright, we get rid of that. Get rid of this whole thing. Alright, let me sell a little more stuff and make some more space, and we'll go in. Should we be able to sell get rid of this thing? Oh, that's that big money. All right, we good? Actually, I don't want this. All right, I think we should be good. Wait, do I have this item? I don't remember if I looted it. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, so if I do want to grab that, could be smart. It doesn't matter that much. Wait, what? God, do I insure this thing? I don't know how well it repairs. It looks like terribly. Titan. I think I just leave it be whatever. Grinding too much? No, I've been pretty good, man. I've been I've been keeping it nice and healthy, I think.
Yeah, hopefully we can get another good raid. I'm trying to think so far, I think every raid has had plenty of action. Other than the scav, which like naturally because I was a scav. But it is getting a little bit later, so people, people myself included, are probably gonna be getting off somewhat soon. More dark and darker. Dark and darker isn't like playable right now. So when it comes back out, I'll end up streaming it. Uh, probably end up uploading a little bit more of it, but dark and darker isn't coming back out for like almost a month, I think. I think it comes out mid April. improve what Tarkov dark and darker smite the world dude I do want it so bad I think it'll be so much fun dark and darker um I don't I don't know man I honestly think Dark and Darker is a really good game as is. At some point, they need to go mess with the stat system. I'm assuming they're already going to do that because right now the way the stats work are very, um, you can exploit stats really hard. And while it can be fun, it's it's realistically kind of stupid. Um, it, it matters too much, basically. Like, I think maybe even exploiting stats should be allowed as long as it's like exploiting in a way that's not absurdly broken. Um, so changing the stat system will be good. So that like getting really geared isn't so important because there's just a crazy difference in having meta gear versus non meta gear and dark and darker. <laughs> um, which like it should be good. Don't get me wrong. It just, it shouldn't be that crazy. Like it, it's too stat dependent. If it was just like, oh, the armor gives you a lot of protection and stuff like that. And like a general stance and that's fine. But if it's like, oh, I rolled plus five fizz damage. So now everything I do, it hits absurdly hard just cause I got lucky. Like that's kind of crazy. Um, other than that, I don't know if I care that much. I think classes are fairly balanced. Um, mage, I think, needs to get rebalanced a little bit, because mage seems like it's overall kind of a bad class on average. However, at the high end, mages are insane. And I think most of that comes down to, why do mages have invis? Maybe that's, I don't know, like, I don't play Dungeons & Dragons, and I know that's a lot of their inspiration, so maybe that's, like, really mixing things up. Why do mages have an invis? Should probably take that off. I think their damage is fine. I mean, their damage gets dumb if they get absurdly geared, but that's true for like everything. Um, I think that's mostly it. I think they could take some HP away from Barbarian if they want, but if they do that, I also think they should make Barbarian faster. Rogue needs love, though. I, I do think, like, Rogue needs, um... A bunch of the perks, I think, should just be inherent, at the very least. It's, like, a super basic thing they can do. Like, you should be able to move while invis inherently. I think you should have hidden pockets inherently. I think you should have lockpicking inherently. And I think they should add perks that are actually any good to help balance that out. And then fighters should get some perks that don't suck. Because fighters' perks are absurdly bad. They might have to nerf other stuff, but like... 
I remember starting to play fighter. I was like, what do I pick out of this pile of garbage? They're so bad. Every other class has good perks. I think that's mostly it. And really those aren't like, I don't care that much. That's just, they're just like things that come to my head. I think I just heard some shit in there. No, I think my game's being buggy. I heard like a click. Um, I think it's meant to be pretty stiff and I'm fine with that. I think it's actually really nice having a not like absurdly mechanically intensive movement, you know? Makes the game a lot more accessible. Ooh. Might need some rats to poison. Yo, what am I hearing? What is this audio bug? It keeps clipping, it's weird. Yo, there's this might be a dead raid. What the hell? There's so many scavs here. It's actually really weird. I thought I heard some scavs out here too. Oh, Sanitar? Oh, if it's Sanitar, I might have to leave. I don't even know what... What is this? Well, that's not Sanitar, I don't think. I mean, it's not, really not actual Sanitar. I don't think it's a guard. Why are there so many scabs? I forgot I gotta be looting these. Cleric to have more weapon variety. The player coming. I'm gonna try and get him to make noise so I can move a little. This is a rough angle for me. He might just swing this and win it. Above. Oh. 
Bro, that's dumb as hell. He tanked that shot. So unlucky, man. Unless I'm tripping, I'm pretty sure he just tanked that shot. Eighty-two to armor. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Unlucky, man. That guy was super geared. I didn't penetrate. He played that really weird. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the hell that was. He played that so weird. I don't know if he, like, actually heard, uh... Looked like I smoked his chin. Yeah, I think uh, one of the first shots, I think, hit his helmet. And then, I think from there, I hit chest. Because he kind of, like, ran in my gun. Yeah, I don't know, um... He fucking voiped. So weird. I feel like he shouldn't have really heard me, but maybe he did. I don't know. Like I like I did make tiny baby footsteps on wood, which is loud as hell, but then he was sprinting on wood when I did it, so I feel like he shouldn't have really heard it. Alright, I kind of want to run that gun back, but uh, I also want to mess with the MDR, so I think I'm going to get this thing really quick. So assuming it, since it doesn't really matter, do I just take this thing off? Take this off. Any smite tonight? No. No, all the smite I played today was uh was earlier. Was me recording it. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I get so confused. Don't I have you? I do. Why do I have to buy this? Do this to it, maybe? Wait. <laughs> That's not what I want. Not what I want. So I don't have Ragman level 3? No wonder it's hard to get any good armor. Maybe I can, uh, I might be able to level up enough next stream to do that finally. And so I'm, I think, I think tomorrow when I, assuming, assuming I'm going to stream tomorrow, I don't know for sure. But assuming I hop on tomorrow, I think I'll actually, uh, be trying to quest again. Because I don't think there's going to be a ton of PvP, so I might as well. All right, this one might end up being the last one. You know what, let me get a bigger bag. I don't know, we'll have to see. Honestly, I want to play a lot, but I don't want to stay up too late if I can. I want to try and keep my sleep schedule. And I got tomorrow.
Okay. Um. I eat a little bit. I have one other thing. I mean, let me see. Can I buy more of this? No, it's too bad. I think I might exactly miss the reset on getting more BT. Yeah, let me test this bad boy. Do I ever stream Smite now? Uh, I have done a one Smite stream within like the past week or two. I don't really generally plan to, but it might happen some. Normally, normally I just don't think it's going to feel fun for me to stream Smite. If casual matchmaking gets better, maybe. This thing's really not bad. It's not great. It's not like meta. This is not bad. For how, for how cheap it is. This thing's like crazy affordable. Also it taps really well. Might suck a little bit in mid range. I don't know. It does seem like it does feel more bouncy around there. I actually probably want to insure it too. Yeah, I think like oh, to me streaming ranked doesn't really seem fun because I don't really play ranked to grind it. Um, I mean, I basically oh, you just kind of can't. Unless I want to just play 100 ping east, then, like, there's no... There's not anywhere near as much of a grind to west ranked as there is to east ranked. Since there aren't the pro players on the servers. Which would be more fun. So, if I ever move... If I ever move farther east and don't have to play on potato ping, then I might actually grind east coast ranked. But... I don't know. Normally, normally streaming Smite just kind of isn't something that I care about that much. And especially the stuff that I like in streaming, Tarkov is such a good game for generally. Because I kind of get like moments of action to be captivated with a game, and then a lot of the downtime of the game I can kind of help alleviate by streaming and talking to chat and stuff like that. Like, I think a lot of, um, I don't know, a lot of, like, somewhat laid-back shooters in terms of, like, action pacer. Like, really nice to kind of fill in the gaps like that. You guys know Smite's got a new god? You guys know the Manticore's in the game? Yeah, I just realized I've been forgetting that the Manticore's even in the game because I just haven't been playing casuals. <laughs> I was like, I was just thinking like, when's the next god gonna come out? But the next god, it did just come out. I think that was like two weeks ago, but still. Manticore's lame as hell, man. I was I was kind of disappointed with the mana core. Like I think he's actually kind of satisfying to play, but like 
feel like it's one of those gods they just didn't need to add. He's just there. Yeah. Like, the ult is cr kind of cringe. Um, just new new Freya ult. The resort looks kind of sick from over here. Um, yeah, ult is kind of cringe. One, two are fine. Three, the three can be interesting, but honestly, a lot of times seems like it's kind of bad, which is weird. Like, in a way, you could argue that's good balance, but I don't know. I feel like he's just overall going to be bad. Occasionally, he gets to pull off some crazy cheese. If he's good, it's almost entirely going to come down to how good his one, two, and his ult are. Around, like, a, kind of an ability-based build, or maybe managing to make those work without an ability-based build. Um... Because right now, as far as I can tell, like, ability-based, it does make his ult chunk, but it doesn't matter that much, because it's just, it's just an ult, right? Like, it's the one ult. So you probably don't want to just... Oh god, this scared me. Well, you don't want to just go build ability-based. I don't know where these spawns are. Normally on Shoreline, in my experience, if you actually go straight in on the way in, you normally don't run into people too much. Unless they happen to see you from far away. I don't know if I gotta watch out that much or not. Any Sanitar? People just use it as a speed boost, yeah. And normally that's how it's gonna be. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, I feel like the Mana Core is somebody that they would have come out with um, a long time ago and would now feel kind of old. And then for some reason they came out with them now. Like, I don't hate him, but it's just kind of like, why they bother making him like this, you know? Like, I don't even, like, they don't have to make bloated kits, but like, <laughs> I feel like they gotta make interesting kits. <laughs> But I also think the last hunters that I can think of are pretty dope. So, it also, it stands out a little more because of that. Because I'm thinking of Ishtar and Haim. And I think both those, I'm assuming there's another I'm forgetting. But I think those both those gods were really fucking cool. Ishtar less so. Haim is inc Haim's one of my favorite characters they've ever added. In terms of just being interesting. Wow, you really shouldn't have. Really.
Hey, loot's looking a little potato so far. That was a different shot. So is that, uh, is that the goons? Are they that loud from there? Cause that's a lot of fighting. So unless there's just a big ass fight out there. I feel like it almost has to be. Like I know there's I know there's players there, but I don't know if that's where they're fighting or if it just happens to be a bunch of PMCs fighting each other and missing everything. I kind of want to go over there because it sounds like fun, but I don't have a good gun for it. Like they got snipers and shit. I'm not going to have a good time with that. what I need. Give me more of those. I didn't even know you could just find that. Probably watch out for uh, players coming in the front since they've been fighting over there a ton. Under me. Oh. Huh. That's weird. You doing the quest, bud? Weird ass name too. Just a weirdo. Wait, he's got some good ass art. What the hell? Uh, I probably don't care. Man, it's good armor, but it's gonna be heavy and it's gonna take up a lot of space.
don't know, maybe I should just take it and dip. These guys were sniping all sorts of shit. I don't really want to have to deal with that. Okay, maybe I should just yoink. Try and pop this shit, and we can just go grab quest and extract. Might actually be smart. We got rid of customs too. We'll make it easier. I should have grabbed a shotgun. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think about it. <laughs> I think I've just been running into enough squads. I kind of forgot that I actually have a slot for the gun. Even though it's kind of a potato gun. That's whatever. I wouldn't have sold for very much. I feel like I might end up getting popped at by those guys that were fighting though. Like they could definitely be out here. And if they are, it's gonna be pain. I don't know how the hell I'm fighting back with a 1x. I love I love this thing, man. I am so zoomy once I pop it. It's actually absurd. I'm probably going to do a quick little scab and try and get my quest done, and then I'm going to call it a night. Because the tired's starting to hit a little bit. But I'm probably going to end up doing a uh, Tarkov stream tomorrow. Try popping a Trimidol and SJ6 together. Now I gotta go look it up. I know about SJ6, I because those have been in a while. I think I used them some way back when I actually played a ton. Um, I don't remember how much I used them. The hell's trim it all. This is it actually very good? Last three minutes, kind of expensive. Looks kind of potato.
I do think it could be fun to uh, just bring in a stupid amount. Yo, I might have to stock up. It doesn't matter that much. <laughs> They're kind of cheap right now, but whatever. Um, yeah, 10 instead of 20. Yeah, this thing's just crazy, man. Like, yeah, you take more damage, but normally... I don't remember. I think I've had, like, a gunfight. Maybe two gunfights where I've had this popped. It's so rare, and I don't think I've actually regretted it. So it's like, same thing, but all in one, and lasts 30 minutes. Nice, so finally gonna use up that stupid little armor thing, right? Wait, it's... Wait, what? Well? You like, fill it back up or something? 20 hours. Oh my, what? Why? This doesn't, this, this can't be worth. I think it's, it's literally not worth, right? <laughs> what? Okay. Like, I guess to fence it goes. 85 rubles. Oh, baby. All right, let me turn this in before I forget. It says I unlock the MDR, but do I actually unlock the MDR? And the R says, ooh. Oh yeah, that's not what I want. I got like a message from Fence, didn't I? What the hell you want? Oh, maybe it bugged. All right, so I need three wires. All right, yeah, let me run a, uh, let me run a quick little scav. I'll see if we can get these wires real quick. Then I'll hop off. Live at 10 p.m., yeah. About to be not live by 11. Did I ever find interest in Monster Hunter? Like the, uh, like the Monster Hunter world games or whatever? No, it's not my type of thing. I've never even played one. They were kind of like, um, they were kind of close to like piquing my interest enough that I actually wanted to try them. Um, but just from watching gameplay, it doesn't, it doesn't really seem like my thing. The fights just seem like they take too long. At least for like the big stuff. It just seems, it seems like it's grindier than I would want. Like it gets pretty grindy. I think the concept is actually really cool. Um, but it's, I'm not into grindy games, really. Like, especially if it was more like... Like Elden Ring, where it's like, the boss is hard, but you still can kill it relatively quickly. Then I'd be more into it. But I always see shit of, like, some of these bosses were taking, like... Like some of the extreme monsters would be like 30 minutes, an hour, hour with a team. I don't remember if it was actually that much. It, it seemed like it would take forever. And I was like, if you actually were successful, it'd still take forever. Ain't no way, man. Ain't no way. Croutons? This game sucks. What is this ammo? Magnum JHP. It's 
This looks like it sucks. It's the worst scam ever. doesn't go full on, all right? Yeah. Yeah, I got the trash gun. Oh, ho, ho. oh. Wait, this is a PMC. He's just really poor. <laughs> oh my God, he's down bad. This is looking super looted. Yeah, I'm guessing, I think like a team might have come through. I got through the wall right there. Um, not like hacker mast way, but like I could just hear him through the wall. <laughs> he could be underground too. I kind of want to run at these shots, even though it's so bad. вот тут друган мой бывал точно. Bruh. 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 Hey man, how's it going? Oh, oh the guy came back. <laughs> Bro, see like AFK in the middle of the tent. I can't even kill him because his helmet's blocking it. That's so stupid. All right, well, we took one out. I don't know. I don't know what the hell that raid was, but I'm pretty content with taking the one out with that absolute God, man, if I had a decent scav gun, not even a decent gun, just a decent scav gun, I bet I could have killed all of them. That was like a super potato gun. Just straight up can't pen any other armor, just have to straight up shoot them in the face. Don't even have deep enough mags to shoot off their legs. I actually just have to shoot them in the face. <laughs> that one guy in the middle only lived because he's AFK facing the other way. <laughs> Straight up incapable of hitting his face, man. God, I kind of I kind of feel bad for him, though. Ooh, we getting big loot back. I kind of feel bad, though. It feels so bad to die to a player scav like that, man. Especially as a squad. It's rough. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to call this stream here. I am planning to stream tomorrow. The stream tomorrow, assuming that I do a stream, will probably be way earlier. Um, Because this stream, I started at like 8 p.m. at my time, I think, ish. Maybe a little bit earlier. The stream tomorrow will probably be like at or before noon if I'm doing one. Um. There could be a later stream, but like I'll probably be recording uh, Smite and doing other stuff later in the day. So yeah, there'll probably be that. Um, should be fun. Looking forward to it. Other than that, another Smite video tomorrow. Um, going to be looking to get more games recorded tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how matchmaking is on a Monday. Normally Mondays are a little rough, but we'll see. Maybe I'll dive into casuals a little bit and just accept the pain. I don't know. 
yeah have a good one guys have a good night hopefully hopefully you have a good monday for anybody going back to work back to school or anything that's kind of generally annoying to go back to hopefully <laughs> hopefully it doesn't suck too much have a good one guys